Getting help from other students is a big problem with Alex in a classroom environment. It will hurt the person getting help. That's the theme of this video. Now, if you've been asked to watch this video, it's probably because either you've been asking other students for help or maybe you've been helping another student and um, you've been asked to stop doing that. So the first thing I want you to know is, is that I think it's a really great characteristic in you if you're the kind of person that is willing to help somebody else. That's a really good thing and we need more people like you in, this, in our society. So please don't think that I'm trying to say that that kind of instinct that you have or the feelings that you have for somebody or care is not a good thing. It is a really good thing. Okay, so I don't want you to get confused. Same's true if you're the kind of person that's willing to ask for help. That's great. You're asking for help. That means you want to learn and you're willing to take risks to ask for help. So that too is really uh, good. The problem is with the way Alex works, uh, it can lead to uh, problems. So let me just explain. Students that get help from other students usually don't remember. That's what we've seen. The first year I taught with Alex, here's, here's an example of a student. She started working by herself and did pretty good, but this was probably stuff that she kind of had already been exposed to. Then when it started getting uh, hard, she got help from another student. And the green part's the part that she was supposed to be learning, but what was really happening is the green part was really repre really represents the help from the other student. So when she took a test, she dropped back down again. Okay, and then she learned, and then she dropped back down again. She learned, and then she took a test and dropped back down. And so from, from the end of September all the way to the end of November, so for two months almost, she made zero progress. Okay, so that's because the other student was actually showing her how to do the problems. She, she wasn't constructing in her own mind how to do the problems. So when she took the test, she didn't remember. Okay, so it's best to figure it out on your own. Here's another student. This student actually would even decline the teacher's offer for help in the beginning. But see how fast they went? So they, they shot up because they knew some stuff. But then because they worked on their own, when they took a test, they didn't remember everything, didn't go all the way up. Okay, and that's typical. We learn a little bit. We don't remember it all. But you do go up. And so she, this student, she slowly went up and then started asking questions of the teacher and tutors towards the end when the problems got kind of really a little bit more challenging. Okay, so this is kind of the proof uh, that working by yourself and making sure that you know how to do things by yourself is important. Okay, here's what's going on. When someone helps you earn credit for a topic in Alex, Alex thinks you um, know it, so it gives you a harder problem. Because you may not, may not be ready for the next problem, the probability that you will succeed is no longer 90%. It's kind of like you were absent for a while in a regular class and then you, come, and then you show up and now you're, you're behind. You're lost. Okay? So now you're less likely to succeed on the next problem. So guess what? Now you need even more help. And it becomes a vicious cycle. If you keep getting help from your friends, the problems keep getting harder and harder for you. And soon you can't do any of them. You're frustrated because all the problems you're given are uh, you're not ready to learn. When you take a test, you drop back down. It gets really frustrating and after a while you might give up, which is the worst thing we want. Okay? When taking a test, it's the same thing. If you ask others to help you or give you a hint, this is first it's cheating but more importantly probably is that um, Alex thinks you know that you, you'll know that problem that you get right when you don't so it's going to give you even even harder problem for the next test question okay and so it's just a vicious cycle and it doesn't work so pretty please with sugar on top I'm begging you please 
don't help other students with topics on Alex. And don't ask for other students to help you. Okay? It just doesn't work. What we do instead is we have teachers and we train the tutors um, to know how to help you so that you'll remember. That's what the key is. It's not so much that you get a topic done. We want you to get a topic done and remember how to do it so you can do it on a test. That's the important thing. Then you'll make good use of your time. Then you'll feel good about yourself. Okay? Alright, so thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it.